is going on guys? It is your boy Sizzle here, bring us a Photoshop tutorial here today, bring us a cool little clean uh, outro tutorial today. I get these bunch of comments asking me to make an outro design, I'm not really sure if like it's a really hard thing for people, but if it does choose to be hard and um, I get enough people who ask me, you know, to do it, then I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's not that real big deal about it, I just feel like, I'm just like, you know, certain things I don't know if I should do tutorials on, but this is something that I can see why people would love to do because you see you come to my channel and you just see all these different you know kind of things for your channel but I don't really talk about things that implement how to help your channel and outro design uh, outros are definitely a really good thing for your channel for me I only upload like four to five times a month you know once a week so it doesn't really add up that much it's not really hard to miss my video and if it is like you would just like go back and like it's not too hard to miss my video I'm not gonna say that you know occasionally probably won't miss one but for you who upload maybe like twice a day or, or excuse me like once a day or once three times a week kind of thing. If you do, you do that, then you want to make sure people understand and like watch other previous tutorials or excuse me, in your case, whatever video that you're doing of whatever gameplay series or whatever. And you want to, it's, this is a really, really good way to do it. And also at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how to at least put it into Sony Vegas. I use Sony Vegas for my editing program, but I'm pretty sure if once you like, you get to that point, to actually show you guys how to set it up. You'll probably notice or at least like catch on to like, you know, the tools because it's very, very basic tools. So I'm pretty sure like Sony Vegas or I don't know what edit like any other editing program like I don't know Camtasia or something like that has like the same basic tool to actually you know utilize an outro. So for this tutorial today, I'm going to do something like this, very clean, very simple. And like I said, this is like a very bare bones, like simple, clean style, right? But I have a bunch of tutorials that'll definitely help you guys out with like making it look more cool or more engaging. I don't know because I have a bunch of like come on guys, let's be honest. I have a crap ton of tutorials that will look really good on a on a outro design, but I'm not gonna really focus on saying, you know, how to make a blank outro design. I just want to show you guys how to at least make one and then you can choose a, whatever tutorial and like it's like copy and pasting, you know what I mean? Like do whatever I did on the banner tutorial, but do it on your little cool little outro. So to start this off today, I'm gonna show you guys this. So basically to start off your uh, little document page of course, what I would uh, go ahead and suggest is go to file new and I would suggest 980, uh, 1980 by 1080 pixels, which is basically 10, uh, 1080p, like, you know, resolution. So I would not do the, what would I say? What is it usually? Like 1080 by 720 or something like that is like what I usually do. Um, not in this case, because this is only 720 resolution, basically. And that's not enough. I don't believe that's good enough, to be honest. But whatever works for you. But I'm just saying, just do it in this resolution as a 980, uh, 1980 by 1080 and uh, resolution 200 and when you press ok you're good to go and also with that being said we're gonna make another one of these in a second it, mm, i'll show you guys in a little bit but basically that's this is the actual document page that's, that i'm in this is what you're gonna actually you know uh save as and just before i actually like freaking forget the way you save this is just goes as follows it goes a file uh save for web and usually if you're in a different or uh an updated photoshop or like uh, photoshop cc i mean it's probably in like edit and then like save for web or something like that somewhere or maybe it's like I forgot what it's under, like I forgot, um, but it's probably in your edit, but regardless, just try to find file, uh, save for web is where you're going to go under, and basically you're going to change your preset to uh, PNG24, this is what I use at least, it hasn't given me problems, it looks good, no one's complained, so uh, PNG24, and then as you can see, it saves it as your PNG, and you press save, and you just, uh, you know, put it to wherever you want to save it to, and then once you're good to go, you're good to go, you save it to where you want to save it to, and then you put it into Cinema 4, uh, or not Cinema 4D, uh, Sony Vegas or your editing program of choice and you get to you know utilize it anyway Let's show you guys how to actually make one of these very clean and simple little boxes and stuff like that And you can put some social media stuff in there and just before I forget let's look open this up Let's open this up dude. All right, so this is just like just for our social media icons anyway All right, so to basically start off is what I usually do is I like to take a 1980 by 7 uh, by 1080p document and like actually throwing it in another document of the same exact size. So like I made this little extra document to show you guys, but I'm also gonna use this. So I'm gonna double click on this to unlock this layer. And for the reason being making two different documents, I can send this one to this one document, of course, right? Or you can like make a you know duplicate of this, whatever. You can probably do either one. But the reason for this is I wanna use this little white sheet, which is basically in a new document, and just use it as my sizing. The reason why I wanna do that is because usually when you upload your video, or your video resolution or whatever you're like taking an old video throwing it to your uh, your newer edit and using your newer video of course within that it's probably gonna be around this size and I'm saying this is um, the way we're gonna do this today is gonna be it's gonna be around this size right you probably seen you probably saw in the previews right in the, the beginning of the tutorial you're gonna see like maybe more on this side more on like the edges left and right besides up and down and that's kind of how I like to do it 
if you don't choose to, then you just have to figure a little bit or just like tweak it just a little bit. It's gonna, it's not gonna be hard at all. But regardless, this is the way I go for sizing at least and where I want to have things going. And of course, manage that you're gonna be understanding that you're gonna also be putting um, a stroke uh, around this as well. So this box is not the actual size. It's gonna be a little bit more. So maybe like up to here. You so just understand that that's what's gonna be going on. And for me, I think this is a pretty good size. And um, of course, regarding to how many videos you're doing or how many uh, you know sections you want to, like I did for the example, I did previous next uh, next episode and previous ep uh, previous video for just basic you know whatever like a just an example right. Uh, if you only have want to have one, maybe you'll have to make one bigger one right. So I'm gonna do two just just because. Uh, but maybe you just want to have one bigger one, which is also fine. And like with that being said, just like understand that if you want to have one, just make it bigger. If you want to have two. All you gotta do is either uh, press Control J to make a duplicate, or Alt Shift and drag it over, and you'll see that this layer up top, where it says uh, Layer 11, is gonna be now Layer 11 copy, which makes a copy of it. And as you can see, this is what's gonna be happening, kind of when you put your video in. It's gonna be like I said, more on the left and right. So when you make it bigger, it's gonna be like all the way up to here, and it's gonna have like this. It's gonna look just like this, and that's why I said use a 1980 by. Uh, 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 1080 pixel resolution to actually allow yourself to kind of gauge what your uh, videos but horses gonna be when you actually put your outro in there so I'm gonna rehide this and this is gonna be basically a left and right side so what I should name it actually because we're gonna be um uh, taking this as just an example right and the reason I wanted to do this is I want to just quickly go ahead and use the uh, rectangle tool just like so the reason why I'm using this and not just putting a stroke in is because like if you guys really want to if you guys are not like too familiar with Photoshop or whatnot if you just lower your fill all the way down to zero not your opacity your opacity is gonna get rid of um, what's ever on the layer all of it but if you just lower your fill down when you put options like your layer style options on you like you'll actually be able to see that and like if I just I'll show you right now if I put my opacity down to zero you'll see that there's no more stroke there's no more options on it but my with my fill all the way down to zero it does not matter the only thing that's gonna be getting rid of is what's actually on the layer in this case a uh, rectangle so basically if you want to do something like this you could like if you're just gonna make the stroke white you put your size up right so I'm in my layer styles I went to stroke I make sure that I applied it and I'm just gonna put my size up and the reason why I don't like it is because it has curved little um, for me I'm a very big fan of like having these pointed edges for like the stroke um, if you want to get that you can also put on the inside but that's also re like reducing the size of your um, your uh, your video like when you put it into the oh uh, the outro um, so basically what I would go ahead and suggest is that if you're not too familiar or if you are familiar you can also just do this right like I said you go to the shape tool and you're gonna find the rectangle tool and then pretty much you can just uh, you don't have to make a new layer it'll do it automatically but you kind of like uh, get it where it is at the where it starts at one tip right one side left side and I'll just go drag it I'll basically cover this thing with the the tool and what this is gonna allow me to do is basically when you use a shape tool in Photoshop you're gonna have a difference uh, two different uh, fill-ins which is basically stroke and your fill which is your fill is gonna be what's on the actual or inside the shape and what's gonna be the stroke is of course a stroke so if you're familiar with Illustrator then this is what it's going on with so fill so I'll lower this or just not lower this excuse me I'm gonna take this off to take this off to make sure like you don't see anything besides the stroke is you click this little red slash dash thing the first box right here you click that it gets rid of the fill now if I'm gonna apply your stroke as you can see you see like a nice little outline for you guys to see where it actually is but this is actually not a stroke if you want to go to put a stroke on all you gotta do is click on stroke and then of course just select the little white here and then basically you're gonna have a nice looking like white box with so pretty good size it's gonna be relatively close to what you had um uh, for your example, so if I just zoom out, you can see this is what it's looking like. It looks really good in my opinion. If I want to, can I change? Uh, oops. Uh, let's go here, and then if I want to change the size, just go here. I'm just gonna keep it on three though, or two. What does two look like actually? Uh, no. Uh, two is. I think three is a pretty good one. I'll keep it on three, and I'm just gonna do that. And then pretty much, I'm just. I don't have to make another one. I just wanted to make a copy here. But what I can really just do is just take my rectangle. And then just copy it over with either Control J or Alt dragging. So now I'll just delete these two things, and now we have our left and our right box, just like so. And then this is basically the hardest part, right? This is the, probably the part that you probably even watched the tutorial for. But if not, if you want to make this a very clean-looking concept, color scheme is key, and it will always and forever be key. It has to be engaging, it has to be fun, it has to look good, and it has to also fill in some space. So what I wanted to suggest is. Like I said, if you have two boxes, you have two boxes. If you have one box 
I can put just like a uh, previous video, not like next video or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put next video. And a nice font that I like to use for titles for outros. Um, I personally don't use them, but I, I you know I make them occasionally. Uh, it's called milk. I think it's called like it's like milk. No, it's like lemon milk. Yeah, lemon milk font, like so, right? Lemon milk is a pretty nice, cool little font. It's just a like quirky kind of font. Um, and I put previous video, previous video, and then basically what this is gonna do is just you know apply some text and it's just like it's it's apply it cleanly. And of course, if you guys want to make sure it's in the middle, if you guys hold shift while going through. You actually find yourself snapping. You can see this little, you feel this, you can probably see it as well. You see this little snap that's happening right now? This is not me like stopping abruptly. It's the, the program itself saying this is the middle between what this shape is and this shape here is as well. So in, if you're in like Photoshop CC, you probably see it a little bit differently because you have like guidelines that are automatically on forever in CC. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but you know, regardless, you probably see that snapping. So make sure it's like in the middle. And what I'd also like to do is, I like to go back to the shape here. If you don't want to use a shape, you don't have to actually. You can make a new layer and you can just basically go to your marquee tool and go to where it says elliptical. And this is basically a circle. So if I zoom in, I hold uh, shift and alt and I click and drag, I make a nice little circle. And if I'm the reason why I'm holding shift and alt is shift makes it a perfect circle and alt allows it to stay in the middle. That way it's just always in the middle where you click that and it just looks, you know, helps in a way, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna change this color to this nice green that I had. And then basically to fill it in, I just change my foreground color and I can just press Alt Backspace or you can right click on the layer while it's uh, still selected like this and then just go to fill and then drop down use color and then you can select your color that way but I choose to do it the cool little shortcut way. And pretty much I'm just gonna make a duplicate of that circle by Alt Dragging and holding Shift as well and then put it over here on the previous video. Now we have two little like dots or whatever. It looks cool in my opinion, you don't have to do it. Um, what else can we go ahead and do? What I would obviously suggest is if you liked this video, uh, no, no, I got this. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, boom. I should probably put a comma, but who uses commas, right? Um, and for me, I would think like a, you probably have to use two different texts. For me, I use Nexa bold for any kind of like, uh, I guess just like we call it description text or something like that. And a cool little thing is what I said is like color scheme, right? So right now I'm using dark blue and green. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and I must say where I want to like put like, you know, this main attention. I wanna make sure that this message was for this one thing. This message was for me to apply and tell you guys that I want you guys to drop a like. So maybe use the secondary color that you choose for your uh, outro and make sure you know, kind of like, I don't know, highlight what you meant in this big because who's, who's gonna if you if you're being honest people are already you know ready to leave your video when you like you're uh going ahead and uh i don't know ending the video so if you're gonna say you know you want to make sure you know message gets to you know there that's why i have this little green dot here to like you know point out what it says like next video so they know automatically without even like reading or like seeing everything else they see this this and this first right so it's just like simple kind of marketing things it's not like you know this crazy hard concept to understand it's just these just points of action, points of something. I, I'm losing it, dude. I really don't know what the hell, like, it's called what I'm trying to say. But point of interest, maybe? Who knows? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type in Google subscribe button. And this is what I'm doing my second screen right now. Just like uh, subscribe button. I just said subscribe button. I'm basically going to take a subscribe button that I see, that I like, and I'm going to throw it in here. And the reason for this, a lot of people doesn't, a lot of people do not know. But if you guys like, uh, you guys actually link a way to subscribe to, you know, any channel given. Um, it's really cool. If you guys don't know how to do it, I don't know yet. But maybe I'll like leave a link in the description, like where you can do it. But it, it basically like takes you to a link that automatically brings you to the page and also has a subscribe, you know, confirm subscription. So I would suggest using a subscribe button in your outro. And to be honest, um, the way you want to, because right here, it's like cut out really awkwardly. I don't like this little like stroke that's going on here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is the same exact shape that they're using here is this shape right here called the rounded rectangle tool. And I just typed in, like I said, subscribe button. I'm just going to click, drag. I'm just going to take out all that extra stuff that I really don't want right there, right? What I'm going to go ahead and do though, I'm going to hide this layer because this is just like a, you know, a layer to actually select something. So if I hold control on my keyboard, and I select the thumbnail of this rectangle that we just made with the uh, shape here. 
it will give me an outline of that. So this is basically what's going to be cut out. The way to cut it out is if you just right click while you're still on that, uh, oops, actually you're going to right click while using M on your keyboard. M on your keyboard is going to bring you to the rectangle marking tool. So make sure you have your rectangle marking tool selected and that way you can right click. You can press select inverse, which is going to select everything besides what's in the inside here, which is basically going to be what we want to cut out. And then all you got to do is go back to that layer, which is right here and then press delete on your keyboard. And there you go. And that's all you wanted to do. Now we can just take this, it's nice and cut for us, and we can just uh, subscribe and make it big enough so people can actually click on it. Is this like a, this is a regular rectangle or it is? Ugh, I don't know if I like that. I don't really know. Uh oh. Uh, I think it'll, it'll work, whatever. Um, subscribe uh, if you enjoyed, sure. Well, that was like those questionable. Should you subscribe if you enjoy? Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna lower this a little bit. The font uh, size here. Move it over my arrow keys, and I'm gonna make sure this is like right there. And I think it looks pretty good. Subscribe if you enjoyed, right? Okay. So basically now, what I would say is social media. Social media is obviously a thing that you want to make sure people bring attention to somewhere. So I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use a typical uh, Twitter, Facebook. And Instagram, where's Facebook? Uh, dude, I'm blind. F, there we go. Instagram. And yeah, I'll put it in here. And then pretty much you can get any icon by just searching. Uh, uh, either you can just go on Google and just search in. What would you search in? Like, tw uh, for instance, Twitter. If you want to just type in Twitter icon or Twitter icon PNG transparent. Uh, just put like key keywords in there. You get like this cool little Twitter icons or whatever icon that you're looking for. And then most likely you'll probably be able to find a nice little HD quality one. And for my instance, I just have like the, in my experience pack that um, just all the different social medias just for me to use if I need to. And so right now I'm using them. And then pretty much, I'm probably gonna space this out just a little bit more. And if I want to, I can use rulers if I really want to. Uh, I don't really need to, but it will kind of help. I want to leave enough space. Oops, I'm just gonna drag them. Uh, I'm like freehanding guessing right now. I'm not even looking on the left hand side. I just kind of want to make sure I have enough space in between. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to put them in between each one, right? And then Instagram and then Twitter. And then pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to press T on my keyboard. It's going to bring me the text tool. And I'm just going to type in what my stuff is. So at SSOHQ, I like to use Nexa Bold if you guys don't really know for all my things like that. And I'm also going to make sure I'm going to use my two colors, uh, my two colors schemes or color codes. And this is the green and white that I'm using. I use the white for the text and like the green for the app button. It looked pretty cool. And I'm just gonna put them since all of them are the same. There we go. Now, if you really want to, if you don't want to do it three times, you can just put all social medias and then one like at SSOHQ or whatever your your freaking social media is. And it'd be pretty cool for you guys to like, you know, you don't have to all use, use so much space. But if you guys want to, I love to use space. And if I, in my instance, I would definitely tell you guys to fill as much space as possible. And that's what this is for. It, like this is really for, it's like, a little fun way of just interacting and like showing this little end stuff that you don't want to like say or whatever it's just a very straightforward it's a really cool little thing i just don't like to use it because i don't for me it's not really necessary but for other people i would definitely say if you don't uh, you know post every like more than like three times a week it's definitely useful to actually bring more attention now cool little simple little things i'm going to just go ahead and use uh my pen tool which is p on my keyboard for the shortcut i'm going to go ahead and hold shift and i'm just gonna make a simple little triangle i don't know something like that right just a little added just extra something right click i'll make sure i'm on a new layer new layer okay uh fill and i'm gonna fill this in with that green just to you know apply some little uh you know where you can throw your eyes over here and i'm gonna just put the same thing over here a either control j to duplicate or alt drag and i'm just gonna right click flip horizontal flip vertical that way it's pointed the opposite way i'll put it on that side now, a thing you can do is, as well is actually make your own little uh, flare, like under like your little text here. The way I did that was I pressed B on my keyboard, which is the brush, uh, the brush tool, right? If you right click on your brush tool, you'll probably see, uh, not my brush pack, but you'll probably see these two first things if the, the brush pack loads. Um, brushes, hello. All right, so you see these two little things, your soft brush and your hardness brush. You're gonna be using a hardness brush for this. And then basically all you're gonna have to do is with your hardness brush, you change your size. Uh, make sure you're on the hardness brush if your hardness is at 100. Uh, make sure your size is at three. And pretty much if you do that and you just basically make a nice little simple uh, you know, line with your pen tool and you just right click with a new layer selected um, and then just go to fill, uh, stroke, 
path right here and I go to tools go to brush and press OK right now mine is green I'll change it to white or whatever if I want to and then I can right click delete path and basically what this is gonna do is basically make a nice little line for us with the, the brush setting at three that's it's gonna trace the line of pen tool with a three brush that's hardness and basically I'll just take an eraser here uh, with a zero hardness this time right it's gonna erase the edges just a little bit right like a couple clicks or so just like that to make a nice little flare I put one right here and then basically we got a nice little flare going with our text here and it looks really good it looks looks clean it just looks dope in my opinion so right now I'm just gonna finish this off with the Sesso HQ logo and you can put anything at the top like this is just all free space like I said this is just bare bones stripped down to whatever and you know for me I think this looks pretty damn cool make sure this is lined up correctly and I'm just gonna put this on white and I think I am done or maybe green I do like how that looks as well and it, like little finishing touches what you can do is if you want to make a new layer below uh, above everything a new layer just like so or control shift N to make a new layer if you want to and uh, you make you your new layer uses nice little zero harness brush so I'm gonna make sure I do that by the way the way I'm using my shortcuts is I'm holding alt and uh, oops whoa what the heck just happened there I'm using uh, alt and control if I use uh, both click those buttons right there and then just right click and then move your mouse left and right you can make your diameter bigger or smaller or up and down and make your hardness uh you know zero to 100 and so basically i'm going to take a nice little white forehand color and a soft brush so i click one nice time on the top nice little thing right there and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to apply a nice little white like just hit right on the background just like so nice smaller circle i think just like so put this on overlay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off entirely with a simple brightness and contrast color correction. I'm going to bring my brightness like to negative 35. And I'll bring my contrast up to about maybe like 35 as well. And I'm just going to like just, I don't know, fiddle with it a little bit. Maybe like negative 15. That looked pretty good. And then basically that would be the nice little intro or outro that you're going to be using for you know your videos and like that's the cool thing is is you just put as much work as you want into this outro because really you don't have to make it one time right like, literally if you want to change colors though um in this instance like right now it's not a terrible situation to actually use hue and saturation uh you take your hue bar right here the first bar and then just like move it left and right and you can see different colors that are uh, like arising but with that being said my background is a certain color my background is actually if you guys want to know my background is the hex code uh, 09090E. And it basically it's like a dark purple. And like dark purple and blue, or excuse me, green in this case, uh, for me looks really good. So that's why I have this going here. Oops. And then so, ooh, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, I deleted something that I wasn't supposed to. There we go. Okay. I'm lost. All right. There we go. All right. Um. So yeah, that's what I'm like. That's why I would say definitely just, you know, just understand that you're going to be using colors and switching colors that don't probably look right like i said if i go back to here and like that yellow didn't look terrible with this like blue but like you know this looks absolutely disgusting so don't use that color scheme uh whatever this is and just like just keep that in mind color scheme is definitely key and like if you guys want to put anything else like i said this is a bare bones strip down i'll probably put a couple tutorials in the description down below just to at least you can check out and also maybe use um, those creative you know contents from that video and just throw them into this little or uh like outro video so I wanted to touch up on this just because it's just like I never done on my channel and it's just been requested a lot so I, I hope you guys understood that you know it just it's just something different who knows if you guys use it if you guys enjoyed please leave a like Twitter likes on the video equals a secret down below do not forget to check out my self i self i.com slash switch hq for any pre packs pack as those five bucks of course the everything pack at thirty dollars you basically get everything in my store that right here all for this one price of thirty dollars and you get anything that gets uh updated to my store for free you get an email to you for free and it's only one purchase of thirty dollars and it's a really cool little thing if you guys want to fully explain it you just click this little link right here it brings it to my second channel where i have like you know fully explained it looks really cool and it's just you know you get it, get it explained to you in a different way um so yeah thank you guys so freaking much right now we are currently at the subscribers of 57.558 so that's pretty freaking awesome. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are going to use this and just like freaking kill it in your next video. But you're going to see me in the next frame. I really show you guys how to do it and uh, actually put it in your editing program. So I'll tell you guys in a little bit. So switch you out. Peace. All right, guys. So pretty much um, really quickly, though, if you guys did not know, the freaking brush pack on this stuff looks really dope. That's why I actually added to my actual uh, 
uh, example. So what I did is just, I used a brush and I basically like freaking selected one of my favorite ones. Nice little white brush and I just like applied it and it just adds a lot. You can just add a texture if you guys wish to, but if you guys have my brush pack for five bucks, I'll put a link in the description down below. It's pretty freaking dope. Put on overlay. It's just a little bit more added fun. And what you can do is you can just go ahead and like just take like, I don't know, where's that left and right? Control click on the left and right little thumbnails right here. Or if you want to click on the actual thing, the layer itself, press W and then just make sure you get to rasterize these layers though. And with W, which is the magic wand tool, you can select the inside of this and like delete it from there. Just so if you don't want it inside there, it maybe looks messy to you. I don't really know. But in my case, I would just do it just because. And uh, there we go, right? So I already explained it before, but to save it is file uh, save for web. And then it is on PNG24. You can just save it, apply it to wherever you're going to apply it to. It's going to be saved there, right? And then for me, I'm, like Sony Vegas is probably the most like, you know, freaking used editing program for like YouTubers maybe. I would just stay on a limb just because like everyone I know uses Sony Vegas. So if you guys want to use it, basically I have my outro here, right? Let's just say I'm at the end of the video and this is my previous video, right? What I can basically do, all you have to do is just put your video above your actual um, little thing here or below. No, but oh, excuse me, not definitely not below. But if you want to, you could actually put it below if you were to go ahead and actually delete the insides of these little bit. Uh, like little boxes right here you can just press w like i said before that should delete this um like the the stock that we just did but if you just delete the background basically what's going to be happening is it's going to be a transparent background um it, it's like i don't know if it really matters to you maybe it's easier for you to actually set it up but basically what this is is going to be actually more of a template so basically if i just move this around you can see that this is like it's transparent so what you can put things below it if you guys choose to do that you guys can do that but i don't know whatever comes easier to you for me you gotta put it above because I don't have any transparency in the actual uh, PNG, right? But if you guys do have the transparency, you can put it below it. And if you guys don't know, in Sony Vegas, what you can do is just press uh, U on your keyboard to actually uh, detach the video from the audio. And in this case, if you don't really have to have the audio, just because there's probably two different videos playing, um, just so that just so you, I don't know if, if you use Sony Vegas, but I'm not a Sony Vegas tutorialist, so don't don't hurt me if I'm like look like an absolute noob. So basically. When you have your little uh, outro here, be, all right, you want to just throw in where you want your uh, your little um thing to be, like your uh, your previous video, right? And just because I like, I, if I were to do an intro, I would definitely speed up the video all the way to how whatever, just because it'll be pretty cool. It wouldn't be like really fun looking at the the intro of your tutorial or whatever or whatever video you're doing. Um, maybe bring it to a cool spot and like make it entertaining looking or whatever. You don't have to make it super fast, but in my case, super fast was pretty cool. And then all you gotta do is basically go to right here, which is your cropping tool, right? And mine's on the other screen. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And you'll see it on this side right here. I'm gonna make it bigger. And let's make sure that this is, you can see this, there we go. All right, so right now, I'm gonna crop my tool, right? And I'm just gonna make it bigger by just zooming it out. And I'm gonna try to fit this inside here. And like I said, this is what the, you're gonna be doing at the end of your video and whatnot. Uh, you probably saw it in the beginning of my video, but you know, regardless. I'll use my arrow keys now, and you can start to see I gotta put a little more space in, so just maybe a little bit more bigger, like so. Use my arrow keys, and then for me, there I go. There it is. It's placed in the middle, like I said. It's gonna be more size than left and right because I like that how that looks. If you guys choose to, you just have to go back into Photoshop and kind of fix it, tweak it a little bit, and there you guys go. Basically, I don't know if can you you can actually set up a preset for this exact size. So let's say if you're done with this size and you you know you're gonna be using more of this you know stuff. You can make a preset, call it outro, right right here, just like so, outro. And then you just save it, and then basically every single time that you wanna make a new clip or whatever, you would just, let's just like delete it from this case, um, or restore it, right? You just go to, right here, your presets, drop down, it'll say outro, what the heck, I have other things. Outro, and it'll automatically place it, or at least um, automatically have it set for you guys. The size-wise, all you have to do is move the other video over if you choose to put another video in, if you have multiple boxes. And that's basically how you guys do it. And then when you play it out, of course, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have your outro pop in. You can put like, you know, a little outro talking-wise or whatever, but it'll look pretty cool. And it's just another nice way of actually introducing more views uh, to your audiences of different videos. So. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope I explained it as thoroughly and as purely and as easy as possible. And um, like I, I wanted to do that just because it's probably like more people who are not familiar with Photoshop uh, looking at this video. In this case, my, you know, regulars. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I'll talk to you guys later. Sets HQ out. Peace.